What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I wanted to talk to you guys, kind of get your guys' opinion on where does the bloodline story go from here? We just seen Jimmy super kick Roman not once but twice. Tell Jay Uso this is something you should have did a long time ago, and pretty much screw Roman and Solo Sokoa out of becoming the tag team champs, which that is a, a beautiful thing to see. So my question now is, where do we go from here? Now, if you saw the end of the show, uh, Night of Champions, you could tell that uh, Jimmy, he was, he was cool with what he did, but Jay was still on the fence. Like he actually wanted to go help Roman after Jimmy kicked him in the face twice and Jimmy had to kind of persuade him to just come on let's get out of here but you can tell one of the last few shots is Jay still conflicted <clears throat> on what he wants to do like where does his allegiance lie he loves his brother but at the same time he's he's trying to do all he can to you know be by Roman's side or whatnot and show his loyalty but people around him like Sammy and now we're starting to see Jimmy or, you know, basically telling him or have told him, with, well, recently with Jimmy with his actions by kicking Roman in the face. But Sammy's been telling him for a long time, Roman doesn't really care about you. He's only been using you. That's about it. So the question is, where do we go from here? Now, ult the ultimate goal is to obviously get Roman by himself. When Roman has no one there left, he doesn't have Solo. He doesn't have the Usos. That's when he will lose. Hell, I honestly think Paul Heyman will probably be the last person to go. And Paul will probably leave after Roman loses, most likely. Uh, I don't think Paul is leaving anytime soon before that, even if Solo leaves. But just off his family alone, when he has no one left, when he is completely by himself, in a sense, outside of Paul Heyman, I think that's when we can, you know, we can finally tell, okay, this is where his title reign ends. This is where it comes to an end. So the question is, how quick do we get to that point? Do we get to that point at SummerSlam? Or do we get to that point all the way at next year's WrestleMania? I honestly don't think it should be drawn out all the way to next year's WrestleMania because I think if you're starting with Jimmy leaving the bloodline and kind of being done with this at some point jay's going to get on the train and then at some point solo is going to get on the train and i think that's going to be the very biggest like blow to roman reigns because solo has been that enforcer and that we all know when solo finally hits roman with that samoan spike it's going to be great just the same way as when jay finally realizes and Super kicks Roman. That's going to be a great moment too. So the question is, do Roman does Roman lose his family, the bloodline, before SummerSlam or at SummerSlam? Or does he lose them bit by bit all the way up to WrestleMania? <clears throat> and that's really kind of the hard decision. Because I honestly still think Cody is probably the ending point. And I don't think it would make sense to draw it out all the way to WrestleMania. So I think the most, I guess, opportune moment would be somehow Cody's able to get a match, maybe Money in the Bank. I don't know how that's going to go. Uh, I may make a separate video talking about what we're going to do with Money in the Bank involving Cody Rhodes. If he is going to be involved, I'm sure he will be. And we also know that the Brock storyline and Cody is not done. So the question is, how do we get from where we are now to SummerSlam if that's the goal? Say, hypothetically, we're going to have Roman lose all his family members by SummerSlam. Well, <clears throat> you would essentially have to have a match of Money in the Bank. And at Money in the Bank, I'm thinking, maybe do we get another tag match? You know, some people have suggested, does Jimmy get an opportunity at the title? And then Roman starts doing him dirty. And then eventually Jay, Jay has enough of it and he steps in. Does that happen? 
or or do we get another tag match? Do we get Roman and Solo versus the Usos? Which I think people would be interested in because Solo <clears throat> can still somewhat feel top, uh, some type of way because they, he did get super kicked by the Usos. And Roman can be the master manipulator pretty much saying they're not the same. They're not a part of this. You've held it down since you've been here. You've been more, you know, you've been more important to the bloodline than they have as of recent few months. You know, he could kind of just hype him up, egg him up, and really cause that 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 confusion, you know, trying to keep Solo on his side because he knows he needs Solo. So, honestly, maybe they could do a, a situation like that where it's a, a potential tag match, Roman and Solo versus the Usos. I think that would be good. And maybe in that match, in that match, we finally see, you know, Solo is really, you know, he's starting to see how Roman is. Or or say you can have a, you can have a situation where Roman and Solo wins. You have Roman and Solo win that tag match at uh, Money in the Bank or whatever. And then you can have after the match is over, Roman's trying to destroy them. But Solo's not having it. Like, Solo's very hesitant. He's not having it. And then Roman gets beside himself and pushes Solo. And that could be an epic moment where Solo says, screw you, pushes him back. And they get in each other's face. And then maybe they tease it right there. And then Roman just walks out the ring instead of trying to destroy them. But Solo's looking at them. Like, damn, like, he's conflicted. Like, and then maybe weeks leading up, you know what I'm saying, before SummerSlam or whatever the case, Solo has enough, and he Samoan spikes Roman Reigns, and then he pretty much aligns himself with the Usos, and he's by himself. And then if you were to do something like this, have Cody win the money in the bank, says he's going to cash in at SummerSlam, Roman's by himself <clears throat> and then we can have that dynamic I think that could be a possibility but honestly I do think they need to have a match and when they have the match weeks leading up to money in the bank you can have Jay finally realize Roman doesn't give a damn about him they they have a match Solo is kind of still listening to Roman and they have that nice tag team match have Roman and Solo win have Roman and Solo win and then Roman tries to disrespect him more. Solo gets upset or whatnot and tells Roman to calm down. They don't destroy him, you know, but, and Solo doesn't attack him yet. They're teasing him. He just pushes him, tell him to chill out. And then we get weeks leading up before SummerSlam where he finally says, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with you. I'm going to, you know, I'm going I'm to take care of this. My, I, I, I'm done with you, Roman. You, you disrespected the family far too much. I'm not going to stand for it nowhere. And he Samoan spikes Roman. And now Roman's by himself going into SummerSlam, which makes him much more of a, a, a uh, I guess you can say, it makes him more vulnerable now because he has no help. He's by himself outside of Paul Heyman. And then you can set up the, the Cody and Roman rematch and have Cody win that SummerSlam if that's what they choose to do. I, I just don't think... You need to draw out this family feud situation with the bloodline all the way to WrestleMania. I think we, we're we already here now. Let's get the ball rolling. SummerSlam is right around the corner. Build it up all the way to SummerSlam. Roman now has no help. He's by himself. Have Cody do what he needs to do. And then we go from there. So that could be one possible outcome. Comment down below. And let me know how you guys would book the ending of the bloodline i want to get your guys thought and thoughts and opinions how you guys would set this up would you set it up for it to end at SummerSlam, or would you set it up to end at wrestlemania roman reigns bloodline and his his his, his pretty much his title reign let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still here on the speed of youtube wrestling champion world appreciate y'all kicking me see you on the next one peace